In late November, I got the email from Mark telling me to come out for the millionth member party. What else did the email say? It said that we had to have a business meeting. That Mark and Shaw had played some kind of revenge stunt on Case Equity. And that Manningham was so impressed that he was now making an investment offer that was hard to turn down. So I went to California, and I went straight to the new offices. I didn't know whether to dress for the party or for the business meeting, so I kind of dressed for both. But it didn't matter. Why not? Because I wasn't called out there for either one. What were you called out there for? An ambush. Mr. Sabrin. Hey. First I thought he was joking, giving me more contracts to sign. But then I started reading. What is this? Well, uh, as you know, we had some new investors that have come What in. is this? Mr. Sab. Mark! Mark! He's wired in. Sorry? He's wired in. Is he? Yes. How about now? You're still wired in? You issued 24 million new shares of stock. You were told that if new investors How came How much along... were your shares diluted? How much were his? What was Mr. Zuckerberg's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Mr. Moskowitz's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Sean Parker's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. What was Peter Thiel's ownership share diluted down to? It wasn't. And what was your ownership share diluted down to? 0.03%. You signed the papers. You set me up. You're gonna blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad business deal with your own company. This is gonna be like I'm not a part of Facebook. It won't be like you're not a part of Facebook. You're not a part of Facebook. My name's on the masthead. You might want to check again. Folks, these things happen. You inventors and entrepreneurs out there, you're going to have to go through this. You may as well know about it. Either on the receiving end or the giving end, these things happen. And sometimes they're necessary. This YouTube channel is to let you know not how to avoid it, but how to be aware of it and manage it. What your rights are, and what they aren't. When Eduardo shut down that bank account, he pretty much guaranteed his d dismissal from the company. He did end up making a real nice recovery after years and years of litigation, including some of what's shown in here. It's not that this isn't going to happen to you or to try to prevent it from happening to you. This video is to get you tuned up to the idea what your rights are, what you have the ability to control, and what you don't. And also, make an effort to read the documents that are put in front of you, and make an effort to read and understand an operating agreement. It's true, probably most of the people watching this YouTube video are not attorneys. But that doesn't mean you can't understand what's in an operating agreement. But most people sign them without even looking at them because it's just too turgid, too obtuse, too thick, too much legalese. I don't write my operating agreements that way. I write my operating agreements to be read and comprehended at about an 11th grade reading level where possible. That's not always possible. But that's what I strive for. And I strive to keep them short and to make them readable and has of a decent amount of clarity. Again, understanding your operating agreement won't prevent this kind of thing from happening to you, but you'll at least be educated, informed, and aware of what your rights are. You're, nobody's going to, the, watching these YouTube videos, are going to go through life that nothing bad ever happens to them. Bad things happen to everybody. 
It's what you do about it, how you react, and how you're prepared. And if Eduardo had more carefully read those documents, it would have been a lot better for all the parties involved. But again, also on the Zuckerberg side, corporate leadership and LLC communication and LLC leadership sure would have been better if he communicated his vision and what it was he wanted. All he had to do was say so, and the other parties would have no choice but to agree. But the problem was he tried to just kind of slip through it without ever having to say so. That doesn't work. If you folks are hiring other people or have other partners and you have disagreements, tell them. Don't hide from it. Communicate. It's better for everybody involved. Thanks for watching. Let me know any other topics you want me to discuss. This YouTube channel is to help you. This is for information. I want to hear from you and I want to know what things are on your mind.